Good morning everyone. My name is Dr. Malcolm Colson, recently appointed principal at uh, Fulton Adventist University College. It's my pleasure this morning to just introduce our report. You're going to hear about our enrolments, which are up a little on last year. You're going to hear some fantastic news about the spiritual experience of our students, including the fact that 10 students are already baptized and that there are more just waiting for the opportunity. Uh, as our chaplain has done great work there. You'll hear about the challenges of our finances as a result of um, the same experience everyone else is having with the virus, with the limited income, damage done by a cyclone. But above all, you'll hear us talk about the fact that our students are training to be the leaders of the future, that they are having a positive and uh, life-changing experience with God, and that they will be the young professionals uh, that the countries of the Pacific need, whether it's ministers, teachers, business people, or in some other line of work. We're grateful that they are here. We're grateful for your investment. We ask that you continue to pray for this place, its development, and uh, for the young people who come here and make decisions for God and uh, fulfill their calling in whatever line of work that might be. So thank you very much. Enjoy the, uh, the report. Bulominaka, my name is Nelly Manula and I work as the Registrar of Fulton. Um, I'm here to actually talk to you about our enrollment this year. Uh, we have uh, 377 students who are on our full-time uh, this semester. 161 are enrolled in summer school 32 are actually enrolled in our off-campus program that is uh, happening in the Solomon Islands. This year's enrollment is uh, 14 more students as compared to last year's enrollment. Hi Bula, my name is uh, Tom Osbot. I'm uh, the acting chaplain at uh, Fulton University College. The interesting thing about it, I was invited to do the week of prayer and then they wrote me in to be the acting chaplain and thoroughly enjoyed that in uh, touching base with students, with staff. We had the week of prayer and praise God through the working of the Holy Spirit, 10 people uh, approached me if they could be baptized at the end of the week of prayer we did. Uh, praise God also that we had a group of 15 students who wanted Bible studies and work towards the year and hopefully be baptized before uh, the year end and currently that is happening. We are also excited about the fact that we have local staff, both ac academic staff and ancillary staff who are uh, have requested Bible studies in order for them to go and share uh, in their local churches and this has been exciting and uh, we're embarking on that and uh, praise God for for the openings and the, the privilege of uh, sharing Bible studies not only with students but also with our staff they in turn will go and share in their own local church. Um, I've been here for almost six months. I'm thoroughly enjoying uh, the ministry in here, the beautiful surrounding, the mountains, and uh, no doubt we will have a wonderful year and a wonderful harvest at the end of this year. We have few challenges due to this pandemic. Private students, some of the parents, guardians or sponsors, they, re they are out of job. And funds are coming slow. Some of them, we haven't received their last 40%. So our cash flow is not as good as it should be. But we know that God is in control. The government um, has reduced their prime to us with 14%, which is about 20,000 and 20,000 is a lot 
we we need that money, but unfortunately the government's reduced the grant. TELS has paid the full fees for the students, Fijian students, but due to this lockdown, Fijian students has to go home and TELS requires us to return that money to them, which is a lot, about 68000 and we can't afford to send back that money. So it's a bit challenging for us, but we know that God is in control in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3, um, the eyes of the Lord is in every place. And we know that God is in control and he will take us through. He has brought fruit and within the past years and he will take us through. And we pray that God will continue to be with us in every activities that we are doing. Thank you and malo apito. Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Um, most of you may have known known me already, but uh, I do follow the student services here at Fuller Points and part of my responsibility is to um, supervise the work education program here at Fuller and so for the last five, six weeks or seven weeks, since most of the students have left, uh, I get myself busy with students outside and uh, some of the projects that we've uh, undertaken is uh, the runabout, if you come to Fuller College you would uh, see that there is uh, something new about the runabout. The fish pond in front of the, the main building and especially the, the fence uh, on the eastern side of uh, the campus. So we've uh, strengthened the fence and uh, uh, along the southern part of the campus as well. This is to secure the students once they come back to the college. Um, they will see a new face along the, uh, at the front of the, the boundary was the front gate and so towards the southern part to where students and um, community members used to cross trespass into our campus that also will be fixed so that uh, everyone on campus is safe and I want to thank uh, the administration for the support in uh, doing these projects. In the securities at the front gate we have uh, students who are actually uh, 12 hours on um, shift and this is special to check all students coming in and out and also visitors coming into the to the campus uh, we take note of the plate number of the vehicle as well as to find out the purpose of the visit to the campus now for for the married students or students coming in we actually stop them at the gate and they we do not allow vehicles coming in except that if the vehicles are loaded with staff for the students then we allow the vehicles to come in so that is one way of actually screening those coming in to the campus and uh, in the near future we will actually if students come in we will actually uh, check the temperature right at the gate to ensure that uh, no one has this virus that come in so that's one way we could uh, minimize or prevent uh, uh, getting the virus into the campus. My name is Rachel Lillian Ghetto. I'm the deputy principal as well as the uh, chair for the academic uh, office and the academic committee. Uh, I also want to thank the academic staff for the commitment to the academic office as well as the commitment to make online learning a reality. For the college. Uh, it has been a, um, a story that we would like to achieve, something that the college would like to achieve, but today I can uh, confirm that the college is very much into online learning using Moodle and uh, Office uh, 365 and I thank the academic staff and everyone for their support in making this journey a reality. For our students, the academic office would like to encourage them to continue uh, their study throughout the semester. This is an ongoing study, on, uh, online study, and it is important that you submit your assignments on time and also uh, work smartly and wisely. Um, the college is also engaged in TVET. We are very much uh, uh, encouraged in that uh, direction.
we have been invited by Fiji Police Academy to run TVEP for their, for their staff, which we will start on the 25th of May, that is in one week time. Uh, and also there are other interested uh, stakeholders like Navuso Agricultural uh, Institute and Makoi Plus uh, uh, secondary uh, staff or teachers that are very much into TVEP. Uh, this program is a... And Fulton has been given the opportunity by Fiji Higher Education Commission to deliver the program, TVEP program and last year was our first uh, year to deliver and this will be our second year. And this program is very much uh, supported by the Commonwealth of Learning in Canada and uh, the uh, intention is to probably next year to have TVET online right throughout Fiji. Uh, the semester two will start on 26th of June and our results for semester one will come out on Sunday, 21st of June. From the academic office, thanking all the staff for their support and commitment, uh, and also to our students, we wish you well. Naka. Hello everyone, my name is Tarasila, and I'm looking after our school uh, workshop and canteen here at Wilson College. And we have some staff here for that uh, we are selling. Uh, we also have our farm producers that uh, we have it from our own uh, farm. My name is uh, Devita Koretamana. I'm our janitor supervisor here in Fulton. Uh, I'm so blessed to be here in Fulton. Uh, at the moment we are uh, trying to keep the uh, premises clean and tidy and uh, and uh, we are encourage, encouraging students to, to keep washing their hands and uh, abide by our health system here in Fiji uh, and to be aware of the coronavirus that is going on here but uh, I'm happy that uh, students are coping well with uh, all the instructions that are given to them and uh, hope that uh, uh, God will uh, bless his school and all the leaders here in Fulton and uh, to the students out there uh, please be mindful of uh, everything that you do every day uh, before you come back keep washing your hands and uh, keep fit and health but most of all, uh, that's all from the Janita department. That's enough for one day. Thanks for listening to our report. God bless and all the very best.